Hi, this is Gizmo First, and I'm here with Jet to discuss what the community wants to see in the future of Fallout 76. Later on, we're going to have the five things video, which I've promised. But Jet saw my last video. We got in touch and thought this was something that could be discussed. So here are a collection of things that were posted on the video itself and on the Facebook forums where the video was also posted. And we're just going to discuss them today. And we're going to choose the five that we're going to do the feature about. And Jet will also feature on that film. So Jet, do you want to say something about yourself before you start? Uh, yes. Hey, it's me, Jet. Um, I make stuff I like. And right now it's 76 Guide content. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of it. Thank you for having me on the show, I guess, Gizmo. Yeah, great. Yeah, no, that's the best intro I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's not I make what I like, me. and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Right. right now, that's so, good content. Uh, will I keep making that? Uh, yeah, probably for a bit, and then once I stop liking it, I'll move on to something else. Well, you know, it's quite a long list, actually. I was surprised at the community feedback. Some of this stuff I knew about, but they surprised me with some stuff. We've got 16 points, and I think the first one, which was actually yours, and I put this first, because yeah. this is the comment that you put, and uh, this is how I we did, connected, actually. So, uh, yeah, yeah, more yeah. pistols in the game. Yeah, I honestly, I don't understand why there isn't... Because uh, right now, if you don't know, I think the 10 millimeter is actually the best pistol. The Crusader pistol is okay, but every revolver isn't that great. Yeah. Um so we don't have a heavy hitting like single shot uh, mm -hmm, gun mm -hmm. so i was like we need a like rather a 5.7 uh you know a desert eagle that shoots 50 ae or just some fictional hand cannon that's like like a, a dirty harry or, you know you know what could be really Western, actually. you know what could be really yeah, good yeah. as well like a perk like a new pistols perk that's like a, mm. a gunslinger uh, I know they have a, uh, something called that, but yeah, some, so, some variation on that. Do you know? Do you know those old westerns where they pull the trigger mm. once and they just hammer the, the 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 they just hammer the hammer with their left hand, so they get a rapid yeah. fire thing. That would be a good thing, I think. Like if because then it would make kind of those revolvers a little bit more attractive to use. I think. So, I mean, they, they could make it like a like a dead eye kind of thing where yeah, it, you know, like kind of like gun fu, but like in the older games where it would just you go. Well, I know gun fu also exists in the game, but like yeah. you could go <laughs> one, two, but like you know, you you hit a button and then you just you just snap onto all of them and you all just do like crit damage on all of them. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, but it only works with pistols and there's there's no armor. It, it's just. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But I would definitely that would agree be, that pistols need more. reworking in the game because after about level thirty, they're pretty useless because you're coming up against you know oh. bullet sponges. I feel like the only ones that aren't like is uh, if you're talking about everything but the like I say a bloodied explosive uh reload 10 yeah. millimeter that's on yeah. auto that's 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 still actually really good because okay. you can get some armor penetration on it mm -hmm. uh and obviously you know it's an auto weapon and you can just keep shooting and mm -hmm. you know autos melee and big guns are like you know top yeah. whatever i don't yeah. really make a tier list for it but uh, that's like the only one that we still to have and i i don't really love that because it means build diversity wise it all kind of looks the same when you mm -hmm. get into pistol builds and yeah. i want there to be like as i've always like advocated for i want more builds more diversity even though like you know majority i play up like bloody builds but that's only because i really like dps you know mm -hmm. uh yeah well we'll see that's what the we'll see what the extra star brings and the legendary stuff as well because you know oh I'm, yeah exactly. i'm imagining that the extra star will possibly bring extra effects as well there'll be different effects coming in i don't know if that's true but mm. i would imagine i'm hoping they don't i hope they don't stay what they are right now because yeah. they're very yeah yeah well, well we've, just, we've all played know, it to death haven't we you know yeah exactly because mm. that's the thing everyone's just going to go for bloody explosive reload and cryo and yeah. that or like something that does a bit more damage like for the score to be queen as soon as you can cryo it it's yeah you know it, it basically can't do anything from that yeah, point yeah, onwards yeah, 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 yeah. so i hope they do change some of the fourth effects would be but good yeah, i'm definitely good. excited for that okay mm. the second one was make an account link staff so we can transfer across characters i have heard that actually asked a lot and I, I don't think it should be a linked stash, but it would be nice if we could say like have a mailing system mm -hmm. and then you, know, you put that in there and it just sends it to that character. I've heard like a lot of people mention that as well. I think and even I think Bethesda be mentioned that they are taking that into consideration. So that's a that's a clear oh, possibility for the future, I think. Because right now, uh, for me to get like stuff across characters, uh, I use just an alt account. Like I have, the, mm -hmm. like I, it's funnily enough, I actually have two instances of fallout 76 installed on my pc one through oh. steam and one through the bethesda launcher nice there we go <laughs> so yeah. i could just so i could just open up bethesda and have my alt there and you know because my pc is an editing pc i can run two instances of it and it, and it you know 
Nice. It's 60 FPS. It's not amazing, but you yeah. Know, well, you only need to. Then. Yeah, you only need to check yeah, things over from one stuff, character right? to the other. Yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, I, exactly. I understand why that's a bone of contention because a lot of people have lost stuff to people who've scammed them. You know, mules. Oh, yeah. You know, putting stuff over to different accounts, and they just want to make it easier, I guess. So that's like yeah. another point because everyone like the whole like petition thing recently mm -hmm. that uh, is going around to do with uh, the new, a new trading system. Yeah. And I'm thinking we don't really need a whole new trading system. Mm -hmm. It's just we need like the amount of caps we can hold raise through the roof because that yes. way yes, like yes, it's yes. supposed to be the main currency right so yeah. i don't understand why caps caps out at 30 it should cap out at like nothing that way we can actually trade items for the value that they're worth you know yeah because flux has become because, a flux has become a currency at the moment in game because it's more valuable than caps but that leads to a lot of uh, hmm. uh you know people taking advantage and uh, stuff going oh, yeah. on in the real exactly. it bleeds over into the real world as well and causes tension between real life players that we don't really need yeah oh yeah exactly i think like one of the points was going to be that like flux should be bought for gold bullion or something like yeah. that yeah yeah that would undercut uh, that economy a little bit i think yeah yeah and that's like i agree with that in, in one sense because you know mm -hmm. it would make certain amounts of flux really easy to get but yeah. the reason flux is like an end game material is because you could only really get it from boss raids and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know actually going into nuke zones and collecting it yeah. so if they did it in a way where it wouldn't like where it's like i don't know maybe maybe one of each per day like that's you know it's like mm -hmm. it's still not amazing but it's still something yeah, yeah. Uh, that that i would actually be 100 percent okay with as someone who i think you know, so i mean, I mean they, they could even if they were smart do it if you're only above a certain level because i know you know i'm level yeah. like 300 almost 400 and there's only mm. so many scourge beast queens you can kill to get flux right before it becomes a little bit rip, uh, uh, repetitive so, oh, you say that. You say if, that. Ah, well, yeah, <laughs> I know, but but if, if I want to get if I want to get flux, you know. yeah, I'm also mm. I don't think the damage I don't think the damage increase on primed weapons is enough incentive to run flux and farm it. Uh, I've got a two shot oh, explosive yeah. light machine gun, and I ran it in prime for a while. And farming flux got so annoying to me, I switched it back mm. and didn't really notice uh, a huge difference. It still downs everything in seconds. So, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if 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 the damage was increased with prime, I think the incentive would be a little bit better. If you, it's it's only like I think a twenty percent increase, which you're not going to notice it like instantly. But mm -hmm. uh, good tip for that, by the way. Uh, if you're having trouble with ammo and that kind of ammo. You can take a broadsider into daily ops and just get like a bunch of cannonballs and they're super heavy but they're also really high point count in the ammo converter so you can just convert it into prime uh, ammo, i'm pretty sure yes, the ammo, the ammo converter it. does not give you prime ammo as far as i'm aware I've, I've never seen an option for it to drop you prime ammo hmm i can't remember specifically off the top oh, of my head i don't think so but <laughs> it, i mean but that's a good tip for getting ammo out of your ammo uh, in general yeah, yeah ammo in general so that's good uh yeah. what about uh, bring back survival mode is our third on the list. I actually quite like this right. idea. I do as well, but because uh, I was around when survival mode was, you so know, was good. I. It's just, it's very. A lot of people don't, you know, newer players. I'd say since like Wastelanders or whatever, they didn't mm. really, you know, see how cool it was. I liked it, but in the same regard, it didn't really give you a huge incentive to do it, other than it was fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. they, you, so you got a lot of caps out of it for sure, but mm -hmm. that's kind of it. I would like it if you got more awards for playing, like mm -hmm. in and if they brought mm -hmm. it back, but. I, I do know for a fact they have from from my many connections, quote unquote. <laughs> um, as far as I know, they have no. They're, they're not going to bring it back. Uh, yeah, I've heard. I, they've even said it in interviews. I think that they. Uh, I think yeah. the reason it was it was taken off in the first place was just not enough people were playing. It was it was a very niche. Yeah. It was a very niche um, mode market marketing yeah. Fallout because <laughs> uh, people a lot of them, people don't know this. A lot of Fallout players. Uh, from from what i understand a lot of them play single player games they don't like pvp yeah you know so that's why it, if you they're trying to pull adventure mode like slowly away from pvp mm -hmm. as 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 not as quickly as possible but they're doing it slowly to the point that it like they started slowly and now they're still slowly taking it out of adventure mode yeah. you know originally they stopped it so you couldn't damage people's houses anymore you know you mm -hmm. couldn't do anything like mm -hmm. that properly mm -hmm. so now the only way to do it is like with an you know a glitch or whatever which obviously People can do that if they choose to. I'm not yeah. going to advocate for doing that or not doing it. I just play how you want, right? Yeah. Um. Uh. But they slowly took that away, and then they took all that. You know that 20% damage you would do to someone else until they've hit you back or whatever. Yeah. They then took that out entirely. So yeah. now you have to be. You have to actually shoot them back before anything happens at all. Yeah. And then they added pacifist mode, 
Mm. So now at this point, they're actually slowly removing it to the point that I think that they're probably going to take away that entire mechanic and just add like an arena somewhere that if you want to do that. Well, um, that, that was one of my disappointments. That was one of my disappointments with the shelters. When I played shelters on uh, on the PTS server, I, I yeah. liked the idea because when you went into a shelter on the PTS, you had a, a message come up that says that you might be damaged by other players in the shelter. And I thought that pacifist mm. mode was going to be off in the shelters and it would be fair game. I think that would be great if in mm. the shelters, if in your own shelter, you could switch on, uh, let's say, a survival like mode. mode. So you can make an yeah. arena and anybody who comes in will get a warning that you might be killed. Like, like you do on a right. workshop. Like other players can initiate PvP with you in this shelter. Because my, my son yeah. and I wanted, were looking forward to building shelters uh, what we would call the gulag, and we would just go at it <laughs> against each other, I love right? That. I so, love that. that's a really good idea. I think that would be a really cool way of bringing back PvP. I don't think survival mode is coming mm. back, but people could make their own PvP environments because we've seen already on my last video what we can do with a shelter, and that guy's shelter yeah. is amazing. And then there's more amazing shelters out there, and it would just be great if you could, like, you know, make damageable walls. So, you know, it mm. it, it could be really, really a cool mode to, to see. I think. I, I do agree, but the problem with, as far as I know, um, because there's so much build diversity and you can make such insane builds, just you know specifically for PvP, mm -hmm. that's kind of like where the issue uh, in the adventure mode comes, and that's I think why they're sort of slowly taking it out because they realized how OP you can make certain characters and certain builds. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, what is it? You can have a tank build which literally takes no damage. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so you can just sit there and just slowly whittle away at someone. <laughs> So from what I know, they're not they're not gonna actually they do, they want to pull it away so they can bring more stuff out on you know the atom shop and mm -hmm, the season mm -hmm. pass so you can more or less get a bit more of a leg up in the game and you know speed up some of the slower parts in the end game right sure um, so that way you know they can do more of that and it isn't pay to win because you're not getting a leg up on other players right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that way it's not pay to win you're just get, you know getting stuff to speed you up more nuclear bomb events like scorched earth with big bosses. Oh, that's coming. That's coming. Just give it time. Yeah, honestly. I think that's we don't, we don't even need to talk about that too much. No. <laughs> but I'd like to see them regularly like, come course. out. You know, Fortnite is successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortnite is successful because it, it, it regularly changes its, its its bosses, its system, its different stuff like that. We need to see some more big changes like that. Even I do agree. But yeah. in, in the same extent with Fortnite, it's also I don't want to go and play that again just because I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, you know definitely. I mean? No, definitely. I'm not saying that it should go the way of Fortnite, but I'm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but while they're copying other people's business model when it comes to the daily grind, there's also other good things to learn from other games, right? In oh, moderation. In I moderation. Just, yeah. I just think like you got to remember, uh, this is Bethesda Austin. They're a very small team, so yeah. they're working probably as fast as they can. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, it's not like it's not like um, behavior or whatever where they're just lazy as hell. Yeah, and they just you know the developers of Dead by Daylight or whatever where mm -hmm. they just they 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 bring out a patch every month and yeah. they barely fucking put you know they're, they're Any, very slow about everything. Exactly. it's the worst. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas this, they're actually going as fast as they can. It's just this is much bigger and they need to add and, and do so much more. Like to add a whole new boss, right? Mm -hmm. They need to concept it create the idea of it what's the what's its battle patterns going to be yeah what is it actually yeah. going to do what's the drops what are you going to get from it like where are you going to have this fight yeah. like there's so much that they actually need to do just to, well with, with, to create another event like that with the uh, uh the colossal problem as well they actually did that quite nicely and they actually mm. incorporated it into the storyline as well because it's earl oh 100%. yeah so 100%. before you could actually do that you had to do the mission line with and, and that, i actually quite appreciated that it wasn't just a boss that showed up there was a, a story behind yeah. why he's there yeah so i like well, i like that thing. yeah she's yeah like, definitely she used to do with the scorch plague right exactly um yeah. and i think that's like this thing as more like the brotherhood of steel thing once that comes to like we actually get the other part of that story we're mm -hmm. gonna get another boss raid event exactly like this not to mention the thing i love about earl is it actually shook up the meta like a little tiny bit right? yeah it did yeah now people are starting to like uh wear asbestos lining on their chest so mm -hmm. they don't die to that like fire constantly mm -hmm. anyway we've been we should go to the next yeah, one. Yeah, let's go. Uh, exclusive, you know, exclusive faction missions. So to up the ante for decisions you make in the Brotherhood quest line. I I just think that should be... Uh, let's just say, let's like, say they uploaded, uh, you know, they brought out a patch, like, eventually, and mm -hmm. they made it. So if you sided with the Raiders, they had, like, redemption quests or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and, yeah, like, there's stuff like that. If they did that so it had more of a reason for why they forgave you for not even choosing to go to the vault with them, yeah. I'd like that as well. Um... And, also, and and along this as well, I would I would, I would really like that. I think uh, to up the ante in decisions that you make in any game is, is a really good one. Mm -hmm, and I think mm -hmm. if you're going like, you know, Raiders versus the Brotherhood, yeah, 
the Brotherhood are a very hateful faction, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Like, they don't like ghouls, they don't like mutations, they don't like any of that. The they are they like, they, I, I think they were originally uh, to, to represent, let's say, Nazism in the future, uh, as far as I remember oh, the original, in Fallout yeah. 1 and 2. They were kind of like the yeah. biggest racist, anti-everything yeah. uh, faction you could find. But they were also kind of, I like this, that they were uh, in some ways presented as the lesser evil. Right, but okay, they, exactly, they exactly. are racist and all this, but they're kitted out with some good stuff, and you'd rather be on their side than against them, right? Which is why, like, the the only iteration of the Brotherhood I've ever liked is the ones from Fallout Three, because that's that's when they became the Outcasts and yeah. the yeah. Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. And whenever I met into the Outcasts in that game, I always killed them because I hated <laughs> them because they were the people that believed that ghouls aren't people, mm -hmm. yada yada. Like they mm -hmm. just they mm -hmm. were very not the type of people uh, I would ever hang around IRL. I don't think anyone would hang around Ephraim with anyone from the Brotherhood IRL because yeah. they're very, yeah. they're just a hateful people. Exactly. They're a very hateful crowd of just everyone. But I, 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 one of the things I like about Fallout as well, I, I, it's not the kind of people I would hang out with now in the current world, yeah. but you couldn't, well, you there, could right? never say what you might do in the future in that in that situation. What the thing is, oh. I like the, yeah. moral, the, the moral issues that come up in Fallout 76 that make you think, or in any mm. Fallout game, what would I do in that situation? Okay, if I saw these guys now, maybe I wouldn't be their friends. But in that future, if it was my only method of survival, would I, you know, compromise what I believe now to survive then? You know? It really comes down to like, I think IRL. I probably just. It's such a hard one because I, I like to think that I would be like, no, my principles are my principles, <laughs> and I'll die by them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But. I don't think like it, it's survival. You know, your brain just switches into a different mode. It does so indeed. I yeah. probably go along with them. You know, that's probably how what you would do. Yeah, possibly. So I can't really dodge them too hard. Possibly. Yeah. It's but uh, anyway, we're only talking about the game. So yeah, let's do it. More map. A lot of <laughs> people. A lot of people have have said this. More map. I also mentioned it in my pet peeves video. Yeah, yeah. I, saw uh, that. I agree with that. Yeah, and and some even think it's time for paid DLC. I would say I agree with that. I think. Cool. I think. I think that uh, uh, Fallout 76 is scared to do anything paid. Like, I mean, I'm looking at No Man's Sky that released an even worse, uh, in an yeah. even worse condition than Fallout 76 did. And it took them a couple of years of free patches and different stuff to get it to where it was playable and then another year to get it where it was good. And then they felt confident enough that they've done enough in the community's eyes to release some paid yeah. DLC. Because it costs to get voice actors, costs to get extra programmers, to make the whole storyline. These are costs, right? Yeah, yeah. So I don't I don't think it's it's there yet. I think they need to finish like what they've planned out already mm -hmm. and then it'll be fine. I don't think like that's the thing. You gotta remember, we don't need to pay them to do that kind of thing anymore. They're getting a constant paycheck from Microsoft now. Yeah. Like it doesn't it doesn't matter if you buy the DLC or not, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, they, they're going to get the same amount of money every mm -hmm. single week. In other words, if more maps are, are planning to come, they're, they're doing it. And I think, like, that's the thing, you gotta remember, um, uh, we're, go like, uh, we're getting a Mothership Zeta-style DLC coming out soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, not DLC, but, like, a patch of the story, because once the Brotherhood of Steel one uh, in the roadmap is done, I imagine it's going to be, we're gonna go into space, you know what I mean? Like, we're gonna have to fly. I haven't like seen anything that would convince me of that yet. I've seen some vague picture with a UFO on it and, like, a space-orientated season, which might mean, to me, I take that to mean that there's gonna be UFOs landing in Appalachia and some alien, like some new kind of enemy that turns up in Appalachia. I don't think that means... I do agree. Yeah. I do agree. But in the same regard, it's like, if we were going to get something where we went to a different map, that would be the perfect opportunity. I think, you know I, mean? I think from what I've seen, they are planning expeditions, which was supposed to be this year, but it's been pushed back to 2022. And that... Uh, yeah. so there was a data mine recently, which, which and someone found in the data mine... Uh, mine um, uh, what was it from Fallout Three? Where was Fallout? The, the Capital Wasteland map. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that circle where it's like, yeah, yeah. I saw that as well. So um, it's, it's a possibility that at least a section of that map might be included in the expeditions in 2022. If if that's true, that's cool. Well, but that's it's, it's a long time to wait though. <laughs> oh well, yeah, but like, I I would rather have. I mean, this might sound stupid, but I would rather have four style legendaries and legendary crafting right now than be able to go to a different part of the map. Okay, right now. I, you know I, I mean? would not agree with you on that. I would actually love, <laughs> I would love a new part of the map. But yeah, yeah, no, I mean, anything they I mean, give us at fair. this point is going to be good. Any changes, I think, uh, yeah. are going to be good at the moment. Nuclear winter at night. Um, oh, it's not nuclear winter. Oh, you know, that's pretty simple. That's probably going to happen eventually, right? Yeah. Um, if they keep uh, nuclear if, winter, if, if, yeah. yeah. If they keep nuclear winter, they're eventually going to make it happen at night. Mm -hmm. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. More plants for food options. 
if you're talking about like cranberry like and stuff like that being planted at your at your base yeah uh yeah that'll probably end up happening at some point as well i reckon i reckon um, that the reason they do that is to kind of, like you say it's all about capping it's to make leveling up that little bit more difficult you've got to work to get those buffs rather than just having it planted in your uh, uh in your camp. if i'm being honest though I can kind of agree with it onto like a knowledge level. I, I like the idea of cranberries are in a specific part of the map. So mm -hmm. if you have game knowledge of where they are, yeah. you can then go there and grab them. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the first thing I did in the 76 uh, from Scratch series, which isn't out yet. It, I've still got like 500 gigs to go through. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, the first thing I did is I saw a Scorched Earth and I didn't even go down there to kill the queen. Like I did not know near enough damage to her. Uh -huh. I just went straight to Sunrise Fields. I grabbed cranberries and made cranberry cobbler. Because then I was just instantly getting 10% extra EXP. Yeah. Um, so it's just... I like that game knowledge mm -hmm. thing of where is it there you go. I know that's one uh, thing I love about to... 76 about knowing where to go and ha and how to you yeah. know buff and it's it's it's, it's the, let's say it's the foundation of a good RPG. People say it's character oh, yeah. it's it's character progression which is true but also it's crafting. Yeah. It's crafting and doing all that stuff. It's 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 what makes an it's, RPG it's an RPG. It's player skill versus character skill. It is. Right? Yeah, definitely. Just... Definitely. If people aren't had that a lot. If people aren't good at shooting, if people aren't good at the aim, you know there's vats and if people uh, and and you can buff yourself oh. to, to to include vats. If people aren't good at Vats is Vats is broken in this game. Oh, I like Vats. Like, like, press... I like. Vats. Oh yeah, I love I love it too. But it, it's still like, with my character, I don't have to aim anymore, and I just ah. I just press Q and M one, and they're dead. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I've, I've even got that to is... the point where I go into call, you know, I go into Call of Duty Warzone, and I find myself hitting Q to try and Vats people. <laughs> so... Yeah, I feel that. Or oh, I was playing Doom well. the other day as well, and I was doing the same thing. I was like, God, I've got to, I've got to start playing some different games because I'm getting used to Vatsing people. Yeah. <laughs> Social hub rework. Sure. Definitely. That sounds great. I think that would make yeah. it into the top five uh, because everybody's been talking about that for ages. There's no way to connect with people uh, yeah, other than like Discord, right? message someone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And not to mention there's a block feature. We need that to be more aggressive, I think. Yeah, Because I you think can still so. get into someone's world like, yeah. if it's blocked, you know? It's just you don't join their world. So the only real reason to block someone at the moment is just so you don't, like, if you have the same spot on the map where your camp is, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you just don't want to, like, deal with it, so you just only join worlds with, you know, your camp can actually be played. Sure. Which is the only reason I've ever blocked someone ever, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd, I'd also, maybe to be, in, like, an invisible option in the social thing, because sometimes you just don't want, you, you, you've got hundreds yeah. of friends and stuff, and so sometimes you just want to play by yourself, you know, no offense to any of your friends exactly. and stuff, and you don't want to be rude yeah. and have them invite you to team and just, like, decline. Uh, but it would yeah, be nice I'm to be not seen or not joinable. I mean, you've got private yeah. servers. If you want to go into a private server, you can lock it so no one can come in. Uh, but if you're not playing yeah. on a private server, it would be nice to have an invisibility option as well. And uh, Oh, yeah, not to yeah. mention. Like, that's, a, that's a content creator, like, yeah. you know, wet dream, maybe, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely. If, you're going to have a lot of friends at one point, and they're all going to, like, be wanting your attention. Yeah. Um, new game... Con a new end game content like Vault 94? I think that's daily. Yeah. I think that's daily ups though, really, isn't it? I mean, they, they went from yeah, that, Vault 94 to daily way. ups. So I think maybe more daily ups, more more varied. I know there's a new one oh, coming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a fun thing. I was in a Vault 94 the other day. Uh, there's a room with the with the letters G E C K. There's a Gek room. <laughs> okay. That's pretty. Nice. So that might be something they explain upon in the world. So yes, that's coming. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Like, don't even, you don't need to worry. Don't even don't even worry. You're pretty little head. It's all good. Yeah. Shorter yeah. shorter season. Uh, the only reason this season was so long is because, uh, the cold in Austin, basically, like, it got so cold that the infrastructure just wasn't able to handle it. Okay. Um, that's, that's the only real reason that happened. Normally, seasons aren't that long. Yeah, uh, I remember, but I still think they're a little bit long. Um, they're... I, I, I like how long they are just because, like, my friend, uh, uh, Ratchet is what he goes by all mine. Mm -hmm. uh, he plays, like, he, he only gets to play like a certain amount of time a day and he works like eight hours mm -hmm. the entire day mm -hmm. and then he comes home and plays, right? Mm -hmm. I think they're designed that way for people who have like really time intensive jobs. Well, because we, we, we are, a, we are, let's say, a mature community. You don't get a lot of kids playing. Yeah. I think my son is the youngest guy I've ever met <laughs> and he's 13. Yeah. You know, kids don't play this game yeah. because it takes a lot of patience. Well, some <laughs> No, Some no, do. but they're usually quite mature kids. Yeah. Let's put it that way. They're the kids that don't play Fortnite I mean, or Apex or anything like that. Yeah, so. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. So that's kind of just how it, uh, how it goes. I think I, I do agree in some regards, but I like how long they are because it means I can take a day off from dailies and I don't get punished at all. So there's no like, 
the, the reason I love that so much is in other games where I used to have, like do the season, mm -hmm. I always felt that push in like, you know, my chest of, I need to get on and play yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, that is annoying. And the reason I love it in this game, and I love it in this game because it doesn't happen. It's just, yeah. eh, I'll get it. Well, I, I, I had like you know, six I'm weeks good. off this season because I was actually, I, I got hit by COVID hard and I was hospitalized around Christmas. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I might be feeling yeah. better. No, no, yeah, definitely now. But my whole family was hit and I, and I was carted off to hospital. And for some time, I just couldn't bring myself to play. I was just so weak. And I was like six weeks. I was like, nah, man, I've got to get better. But when I came on, I thought, I don't, I don't even need to get the scoreboard thing at the end. But I got it. It didn't take long as well. So came back. And, yeah, and there are exactly. ways of getting it if you want to get it faster. So, oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So that, that just comes down to just don't grind the scoreboard. Just let it happen as it happens. Yeah. Because if, if you're going to grind it, mm -hmm. like you're not going to have anything... It's like having a whole cake and you eat it in one day. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you mm -hmm. going to eat tomorrow if you don't make any money? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Just, just let it stride yeah. you know, and take your time. Yeah, it'll, yeah. it'll happen. More allies at camps. It's too empty as it is, especially if you have a big camp. Uh, and I think with instance, yeah. instance vaults, this is technically workable now. I don't think it would take a lot for them to do that. I understand the server. I understand the server constraints of having it in the real world. If you've got twenty-four people with, and all of them have got like eight allies in the camp it's difficult you know with, with server stability but if you have them in your in, in your shelters i think i think that's workable pretty quickly uh, that's the thing i think a lot of people don't exactly realize it's still on the server you know what i mean yeah like that instance is still on the server so like it's still taking up bandwidth it's still doing something like that if something happens in an instance right where someone like has a hacked weapon and they just launch like 50 you know mini nukes mm -hmm. a second mm -hmm. right the entire server is going to crash. Okay. It has nothing to do with like if it's inside the the actual world of Appalachia or in an instance because it's still on the the server world. Um, but I, I think it does. Yeah. I think it does have some effects though. I mean, there, there is a lessened effect on the server because otherwise they would be able to give you the same camp build normally on the map, right? There's there's got to be a reason why when people asked for bigger camps, they went, okay, we're going to do this instance, yeah, because it was the quickest, easiest way to do it. It's, it's, it's got to be. There has to be oh, some yeah, kind I, of I, benefit I the for the server doing it that way, I think. I have the answer for that. It's because if they say have a giant amount of, like, you know, if you go to someone's camp and it's... Have you ever been to those camps at, like, White Springs or whatever, where it's so big it makes your entire game lag? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's what that is. Basically, when it, you go into an instance, you're actually just being, I'm, as far as I'm aware, you're being teleported just, like, really far below the map. Okay. That's just for, like into like a, a small thing like that that's why it's like so different sounding down there yada yada mm -hmm. or like it says like a completely different feel to it because yes you're not in appalachia you're just really far below the map so you can build as much as you want down there and it doesn't have an effect mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like on, on the real world as far as i know does it still affect the server i'm sure if someone went down there and did like some hacky stuff yeah. to actually crash the game mm -hmm. like the entire server mm -hmm. it would still happen if you didn't have shelter hey, if anybody knows how to do that maybe they can make a video of it and just test how far the server's can be pushed now i'm not saying i'm not advocating you know oh, bullying bethesda oh, or anything would, like that but yeah. i'd be interested to see actually how far they how far it can be pushed and what effects it has so uh tier actually did a video recently on the mag glitch and how like someone like he got 500 like nukes in a mini nuke uh, sorry, a fat man, and he shot it out or whatever. Okay. And yeah, the servers can be pushed pretty hard now. It's it's not like they're going to get crashed or anything like that. It's more to do with when you're walking around Appalachia, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they don't want people to like lag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, definitely. Definitely. And and, and the, um, the, the, the cutting in. But anyway, allies, going yeah. back to allies at camps, I think it would be nice yeah, to have... 100%. Yeah, 100%. I, I want Yasmin, I want Sophia, I want them all there. Like, yeah, I want them to be able to be, to be, be you know, four or five, at least four or five people at the same time. It will make your camp feel lived in or your shelters feel. If they can't yeah. put it in the camps, then maybe they could confine it to shelters at the moment. I think that's a good point. I, that might oh, yeah. that might make it into the five, actually, I think. Oh, yeah. I think realistically, that that's going to be put into the game at some point anyway. I hope so. Just, that's just sounds like natural progression of the game, so. you know, like that should happen. Uh, private servers for more players at a time. That's coming. That's coming. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it is as well. There's no reason why they shouldn't. Well, why they can't do that. <laughs> that's, that's coming. Yeah. The worlds thing. Yeah. Like you can customize your private world. So yeah, that's coming. Don't even worry about it. Ceiling paint. Uh, ceiling paint. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. I put I put I put, put this in brackets here. <laughs> like this one's been floating around forever about ceiling paint, and that kind of links into the uh, to six, to our last point as well, which is double sided wallpaper. Uh, this is the thing about Bethesda. If you keep asking, eventually they do it. Yeah. That's how we got our slots and, and camp slots. There you go. So if you if you really want that, uh, just just get into a just group keep going. of people yeah. and just like spam Reddit for like 
a month <laughs> and it'll get added. I'm not even I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. If like if we really want legendary scripts and all that stuff removed, if we all got into a group of people and we just started spamming the Reddit, spamming every like uh Twitter post they ever make, they'll do it because they'll be tired of fucking hearing it. <laughs> I, I vote Gino I I vote Jet for um uh, for, for president of Bethesda now. You know, this is <laughs> you know yeah, that's that's it. And if we all started emailing yeah. every single day, you'd be there yeah. in a month. Like they're going to do it. Yeah, it, it will happen in a month. It's just like you, everyone has to remember: we don't have to be quiet about this. If we want something in the game, we've got to make noise. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because um, we, the players, that's, keep that's them like, in uh, keep them in business, right? So that's like how um the you know how Angry Turtle he prefaced uh, the vampire like bug as a nerf or whatever, and like that pissed off the entire community. Yeah. So Bethesda got to it instantly, right? Like that's. That's how it um that's how it that's how it basically works. You have to have people like speak up about it. Things need to change. escalate. I mean the Snyder cut came around because fans didn't shut up about it, right? So yeah, so if that's oh, possible. Yeah, then. exactly. Yeah. So if we make enough noise, it, it'll happen. It that's will. all you've got. Everyone will be to Yeah. And I, and that's the thing. All our community I'd like to think is we're pretty docile, we're pretty passive, we're not we don't like to like make any we don't like to ruin anyone's day. But that's the thing. If we're making the game better, we're allowed to scream about it a little bit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> no, definitely I agree with you. Um yeah, and double-sided wallpaper, I think, if they did it right, would have the added effect of giving you a little bit more uh, room to build. Because the, the, the way people are doing it at the moment, they're double-siding their walls. They're, 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 you know, they're putting walls back to back, which obviously is double cost for building a wall. If they could make that oh, into a wallpaper, I think it would affect the budget quite positively. You know what? I actually, I really want what I really, really want. Okay. Uh, just, just, a, just a solid green wallpaper. That would be awesome. Okay. Because then I could do green, green stuff screen stuff. Yeah, that would be great. That would be awesome. I the, only way I could, the only way I could do that right now is if I bought that like that $15 uh -huh. uh, vault on that shelter and then go and went into the blue room. That would be the only way I could do it. And I haven't tested it, but I really want I'll to. I'll tell you what then, I'd, I'd, uh, I will try and get that and then you can come in and do some blue screening with me. <laughs> So, oh yeah let's go. yeah let's go. man yeah let's do it all right well we've covered You're all right. the points my god we actually managed to get through it so uh yeah i, I thought you told me that we needed to keep on it i, 